And we got record setting stuff to talk about. Good to be with you guys. I'm Aaron Perlman. 84 hundredths of an inch of rainfall. Do you realize what that is? That is the record. The old one was eight tenths of an inch set back. 1926 smashed. And now look at the yearly total. We'll get to that in a second. Seven inches of rainfall. This is outstanding. So we've seen over an inch and 13 hundredths now for the month. Also doubling what we've seen for an average smashed. Look at this. Um, we have rainfall for the year now, seven inches. That's almost doubling the amount for the entire year. Smashed. Talk about getting smashed. Look at what happened here in Lake Isabella. Over two inches of rain last 24 hours. River Lakes, Rosedale, an inch and three quarters. And that's missing some of the rainfall like in the last 30 hours or so. So that says a lot of what we've seen. Now here's what's going on. We're seeing this atmospheric river. It's now starting to push further south. So this will, means the jet stream running right there. To the north is the colder air. To the south is the warmer conditions. Now that's starting to drop, we're going to start seeing snow levels work their way a little bit lower and some of that moisture start moving further down towards the grapevine into the Tashpee. So you guys are going to see more. But we're seeing really that kind of still linger up in the Kern River Valley. But if you look out west, there is a break here for Bakersfield and the South Valley Forest. We might get a break here for the next few hours until later on tonight. Expected more rain coming. We're not done. No, we are not done. There is more rain coming. This will go into early tomorrow morning. It might get some pile up clouds, lingering light drizzle. So yeah, are we done? No, look how much more rain we can still see. Limited, but this is just going to add to that record amount. So this is incredible what we're seeing. Kern River Valley getting the most of it, but we'll see some of the Tatchby in the grapevine. Uh, and in those mountain areas, don't forget, still the winter storm warning running up to uh, at least one to two feet, around 6,500 feet. Watch for these strong winds in the desert areas. This is going to go to 4 a.m. tomorrow. As long as super windy here, you're going to see less rain in our desert spots. Still could get some light showers, but gusts will be up to about uh, 50 miles per hour until tomorrow morning by 4 a.m. And then that's done. So uh, here's what I'm looking at. The rain for the rest of the day. Valley floor, 500 to 1500 of an inch. A tenth to a half an inch for the Kern River Valley. Mountains will be less. The winter storm warning going to be out there for the mountains to our north, the Sierras, 6,000 feet. By the time we get into uh, Thanksgiving Day, it's going to be dry. But after Thanksgiving, there's leftovers. The leftovers is fog. Because of the good rainfall that comes into play, and this is, this is like an, a little bonus, a little trivia for you guys coming in at the end of this forecast. Because the ground's going to be so wet and there's stable air coming in by Thanksgiving, dry conditions, that's going to create fog. We call this the Thule fog in the valley floor that starts to lift off the surface. This is going to create for cooler temperatures and it gets very overcast as a low stratus deck looms overhead. That's going to be the case coming in Thanksgiving. If not, your leftovers for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday because we have leftovers anyways from Thanksgiving. I just hope when it's dry on Thanksgiving, your turkey won't be that dry. There is still that light rainfall for the rest of tomorrow. Cooler air out there, bundle up, wear some of the warm. You still need that umbrella for the mountain areas for the rest of the day. But then we're going to start drying out. Hopefully not enough as your turkey. And then uh, watch for the chances of fog. Even the mountain areas can see that by the weekend.